Welcome back. In this video, we're going to discuss required combats. Attacking is completely voluntary, but if an attacker attacks a defender, all units, uh, defending units that are adjacent to that attacking unit must also be attacked. If this requirement cannot be met, then the attack may not be allowed. I will demonstrate. We're going to click on this unit here and attack with this unit in the middle. Here we see a dotted line around that. This is a required combat. So here's the rule again. If a defender is adjacent to an attacker who is attacking a unit, then it must be attacked also. You could do that like this, and then the requirement has been met. You could also then add this unit to the attack and then be in the same situation we had last time. But you may not, for example, withhold this unit from the attack because this unit is not being attacked. So once again, the rule is attacking is completely voluntary. But if an attacker attacks a defender, all defenders adjacent to the attacking unit must also be attacked. Let's do this from a different angle just to be fun. Here we go like this. Now this is the required defender. It needs to be attacked by selecting and attacking. Now this unit here is not required to attack anyone, but it may indeed add to the attack. So that is the rule for, rule for required combats. If, for example, we had left this unit unattacked and it was square, then we try to hit next phase, it says required combats remain. It will put a dotted border around all units that need to be attacked. I hope this isn't too confusing. Thank you very much for your interest. Have a nice day.